Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Today is a big day for the whole retro gaming community. It's that serious. <laughs> What's going on guys? Big VP back with the Game Case Arcades video. Oh man, what a day. Today is a very special day for all the retro heads, the retro gamers, 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s. If you grew up in the arcades, you know today is a big deal because they officially released TMNT Shredder's Revenge. Basically a modern take on the classic beat-em-up arcade game. There's a lot going on behind me. <laughs> you gotta, well, obviously give it, you know, a big shout out to the original TMNT and TMNT Turtles in Time. I got that in my Neo Geo cabinet. And obviously the newer editions, I do have it on the Switch cabinet, and I do have it on my Bivik 55 inch 4K four player PC setup going on as well. Crazy stuff. It's gonna be a short video. I'm not gonna do any gameplay and all that. I'm not gonna, I'll probably stream it just for kicks, but. Again, today's a big day just for TMNT in general with this game announcement. Now, if you got the game, awesome, enjoy it, but I'm gonna hit you. You better put your hands up, I'm gonna hit you because if you are not playing this game on arcade sticks, what the, are you doing with your life? What are you doing? You, you need to play this game with arcade sticks. I've only played about a good 10 minutes of it, but I mean, let's be real. Get an arcade cabinet, get some arcade sticks, because this game, to give it the most respect, you gotta play it on arcade sticks, man. And of course, I mean, I already posted it, but I already got it on the Switch cab, the dedicated Switch cab. And, I, I mean, so far from what I've seen, and maybe somebody else has it, I posted it on Facebook and on my Instagram. I believe I'm the only one that's got the four player arcade sticks and two Xbox controllers deeming this cabinet right here the six player TMNT Shredder's Revenge cabinet. Yes, I'm able to play six players on this four player arcade and two Xbox controllers. Granted, unless you got a six player arcade cabinet like an X-Men cabinet, which I don't really see much of people having, kudos to you, but you could essentially play this with six arcade sticks. So I posted the video, a lot of people going nuts, going crazy, awesome stuff. I love always answering questions and all that. Big question is, hey Vic, how many buttons does this game need? I just went through the tutorial, I'll bring you in closer. I'm not gonna do any screen grabs, I'm kinda shooting this very quick. I'm excited that number one, the game came out. I'm excited number two, that I got it to work with the arcade sticks. The, the switch side of it is very simple. If you follow my SJ at JX encoder stuff, this should be easy. As far as right now, for me personally, I could do three players. I have two arcade sticks and the Joy-Cons. I could essentially do three players for this. You might be able to do more. I don't know, you could get the USB hub and get more SJ, XJ encoders for the Switch side of it. But me personally, my main like following is the PC version side of it. And again, I'm just so excited. I got it to work with the arcade sticks. I do need an additional program to run it for my specific setup, but on Facebook and all that, some people are messaging me. Somebody did get it to work with the iPad 4 in X output mode, very easy, simple swap. Me personally, I do need to run X output, the program externally to make it work with my arcade sticks. I do wish it did work with X360 CE, which I use 99% of the time for my, my, my hyperspin stuff. But as of right now for this game, it only works with X output. So if you are looking to make this game work with your PC, X output is gonna be the way to go. All right, so real quick, I do wanna show you when you start the game, basically we're gonna look at how many buttons and controls you need. I just recognized something, I just realized something. If you're in story mode, there's an extra button that is needed. If you're in arcade mode, there's a button that you don't need. So let's start with story mode first. I'm gonna go into it. It's kind of cool because it gives you the intro and how to play. So off the bat, you need X. That's one button, right? You need Y. You need B. You need A. Keep going. Diagonal, that's okay. okay. You need left button for cheer up. 
Hold left button for a downed ally. So you do need the left button. R button is button six. That's the taunt. But in story mode, R button also is the radical move. You can judge yourself if you do need that. But right there in story mode, you need six buttons plus the start. So you really need seven buttons for this. Luckily with my player setup, players three and four, I do have six buttons on the arcade sticks for this. If I bring it back though and I go into arcade, I do notice that I think the right button is not needed. So you got the X, you got Y, you got B, you got A, basics, basics, basics. You got the left button, which is the down ally, which I believe you do need. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal. That's five buttons. The taunt button is RB, but as you can see, the super, the radical move is not used in arcade mode. So if you remove the down ally, you only need four buttons, but then you also need the start. Also granted, most of them do have arcades and all that, the arcade panels, they do have also a coin button. So you could technically set up four button player, put the coin as the LB to revive, and then start. So again, if you're playing in story mode, you need six buttons. If you're playing in arcade mode, five buttons or four buttons if you don't care about the cheer up and the downed ally. Now, I'm gonna personally just start off with the actual PC version, just to show you that it does work. Um, I am right now, I believe I'm still in arcade mode, which is perfectly fine. But I do have player one, I wanna make sure I'm in frame. Yes, you can see it. Player one, as you can see, if I press player two, and what's kind of cool with this game, whatever controller you press next is player two. So if I want player two to be here, I can press this one, but I'm gonna keep it like my regular arcade stick. Player two is here. I can do player three right here. Player four, again, that's all my arcade sticks. I grab an Xbox controller. I got player five, the other Xbox controller. I got player six, and we are basically ready to game on, pressing A on everybody, and you'll be able to play. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Oh, man. It's just so cool to see it. I'm gonna show you right now the mayhem on six players. Obviously, it's very difficult for one player to run it, but I'll just show you what it looks like just for kicks, and then we'll hop on the Switch, and then we'll basically call this video a day. So yes, if you are playing this on the PC, again, I personally have X output. The name of the program is X output. That is running for my controllers to work. As you can see, player one, so depending on how your button layout is, the first two buttons, that's basically your basics of your jump and your attack. Let's bring in player two, as you can see. Player three, as you can see. Let's bring player four, as you can see. Awesome. Let's bring player five. Awesome. Let's bring player six. And there you have it. Obviously, a game like this, when you have more players, there's going to be more mayhem on the screen. Again, I've only... I pressed the pause button. I've only been playing it for about five minutes solo. And as of right now, not many like frame hiccups. So again, as of right now, there's not many frame hiccups. I am running this on 4K. Again, granted, it is retro. It is 16-bit, 32-bit, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, you might not see this as a 4K display, but essentially, yes, I am playing this in 4K. I'll bring all the characters closer, so we'll go to the next enemies. But as you can see, six players does work. And it works great. It works awesome, honestly. It's uh, definitely a party-style game. Who doesn't love, you know, the old-school classic beat-em-ups and such? So, very cool, awesome stuff. There's the power-up with the Y. Oh, man, it's just so awesome. Big advantage with the Xbox controller is that you do have the ability... I'm going to revive with the LB. As you can see, I'm reviving. With the Xbox controllers, you do have rumble. So, that is also a very big plus. But there you guys have it. Again, this is the PC setup. Some hater is gonna hate. So real quick, I'm gonna bring up the Windows key. And as you can see, my Windows menu is there. I am running this on a Windows PC. All right, so now we're gonna hop onto my dedicated Switch cabinet. Real quick, if you haven't followed the video, I do have a guide on what encoders you need and how to wire it up. We're gonna play the arcade mode real quick. And again, in this specific situation with my cabinet, I am able to play two players arcade and I do have the Joy-Con. So 
We're gonna play with player one, obviously. We're gonna bring in player two. And with the Joy-Con, player three. So awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll get that started up. And very cool. I believe this game is heavy on, I believe it's the D-pad. We're gonna see right now if the X input to D input, or I should say like analog to D-pad switch is needed. Um, let's just see how it goes. So again, this is a dedicated switch cabinet. Just excited as hell. Again, you gotta play this game on arcade sticks, my guys. You gotta, it's a must. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. So we got player one, we got player two, and obviously we got player three. Real quick though, so player three with a Joy-Con. Let's just see real quick. No, hitting the D-pad to analog doesn't really change much. So you don't really need uh, if no switch is really needed like Super Smash Brothers and such. But as you can see right now, we're gonna charge up. Yeah, there you go. Let's bring it in with player two. Oh, long press on that Y and bang, right there. There you go, cool, awesome. There you guys have it, TMNT. It is on the arcade sticks. Oh man, game on my guys, game on. Stay tuned, I'll be playing more. Definitely gonna be doing a live stream on this. As you can see right here, this is a 32 inch 1080p screen. Again, same thing, graphics on this is old school, it is retro. So from a 4K 55 inch to a 32 inch 1080p, I mean graphics honestly are not that big of a difference, but all in all, amazing game. Big VP, Game Case Arcades, game on my guys.